Hello everyone, I am Salim and this is a small presentation about our work on analyzing exposure and consumption of news through data donations. With the growing popularity of social networks, news has started to appear on people's feed as a byproduct of their social interactions, either as posts recommended by online platforms, content shared by their friends, or news promoted by advertisers. This incidental news exposure has raised many questions regarding the way people consume information. For instance, whether it leads to politically polarized news diets and whether it increases exposure to misinformation. There is a vast literature addressing these questions, but research in this area has limitations caused by the closed nature of online platforms. Indeed, researchers do not have access to the news users actually see on social media platforms. Therefore, the first challenge to address is getting past this limitation and building a measurement approach that provides a precise view on users' exposure to news on social media. Our approach is based on people donating data about what news they receive on Facebook, and to automate this data donation, we have developed a privacy-preserving Chrome extension that monitors a list of over 12,000 news sources that we have compiled for this purpose. Using this tool, we build a large dataset that we use to provide much-needed answers to long-standing questions regarding how users are exposed to and interact with posts of different quality and political leanings. Here is a small summary of some of our findings. First, we observe that in average, 63% of the news users see are from factual news sources, while 5% are from misinformation sources. Then, we were interested in understanding the reasons or the underlying mechanisms that are responsible for this exposure to misinformation. And we have four choices. Users can receive misinformation first because they follow a misinformation source, second because their friends posted this misinformation, third because the platform is recommending it to them, or finally because an advertiser paid the platform to show them this misinformation. Interestingly, we observe that users are more likely to see misinformation because they follow themselves misinformation sources rather than being exposed because of algorithms or through their friends. Next, we investigate whether users engage with content with opposing political views. As expected, we find that Republicans are more likely to share, like, or comment on right-leaning sources, while Democrats are more likely to perform these actions on left-leaning sources. However, interestingly, we find that, for instance, Republicans click more on news posts from left-leaning sources than on posts from right-leaning sources. These are clicks on the image of the post or the landing URL of the post to access the actual news article. These actions are not visible to a user's friends. Therefore, users are willing to engage with opposing views but in a private manner. These results, along with other excited findings, are presented in more detail in our paper and will also be elaborated upon during my in-person presentation at the web conference. I look forward to seeing you there.